Hey, I'm Emily with the Wix Collective, and today as part of our Wix e-commerce series, I'm going to be taking you through how to set up product subscriptions. So if you go over to your catalog in the dashboard, you head to the product that you want to create a subscription for. So here, let's go to the organic coffee beans, and here we want to create the option for someone, like a customer, to choose a monthly subscription to save 10% off their order, let's say. So scroll down to the bottom of this page and click create a subscription. We're going to call this coffee monthly subscription. Oh, we only have a certain amount of characters. That's kind of a bummer. Monthly delivery, whatever. Subscribe and save. Let's say $1. Repeats every month expires, never expires, or you can set it to expire two, three, four billing cycles or custom, like, you know, free coffee for a year or a dollar off coffee for a year, something like that. Add the dollar discount and then click apply. Okay. So again, I'm sorry, this site is just a template. So I have to upgrade to actually like make this happen. But here we go. We've got the monthly delivery subscription. Now we could also add a new subscription and do weekly delivery um, subscribe and save three dollars so repeats once a week expires never expires and your discount would be three dollars off apply so you can have several different subscription options for them to choose from and then you can offer this product either by subscription only or by subscription and for one-time purchase so we're going to talk about more, more about subscription settings here in a second, but what you would do is just click save. Okay. So there are our product subscription here. So subscriptions, I guess, since we created more than one, where do we find our settings here? So we're going to go to say, okay, let's see here. Bear with me. <laughs> because it's all a little bit different now. It used to be in, so they all changed this recently, so I'm just gonna type in here, subscriptions, settings. So basically, we're gonna click here under subscription. Hopefully it takes us there. It doesn't want us to see subscriptions today. subscriptions doesn't want us to take us there so there is a link here at the bottom of the page we're gonna click go to subscription settings maybe it just doesn't like us let's go ahead and hit refresh if you work in Wix at all you know that sometimes things just get a little clunky and need a little refresh so again we're gonna just type in subscriptions here there we go okay so here we have subscriptions subscriptions page covers a multitude of different things so you can sell a subscription for a product. You can sell a subscription as a membership or a pricing plan, which we're going to get to. This is just about product subscriptions today. And you can set a subscription as a recurring invoice, which we're going to talk more about invoices later. But here you can see how many active subscriptions you have. Total subscriptions, active subscriptions. So here you're going to see all of your people who have subscribed to your coffee subscription. If they are active, if they are canceled, all of that's going to show up here. So let's say you had a coffee subscription and you also had a subscription for like um, a gardening newsletter or something or a gardening magazine, like digital e-magazine, then that would also be shown in here. Okay, let me just put a little like, note on what I just said, because I said a digital e-magazine. You cannot subs have a subscription for digital products. I don't know why. It's very sad. I wish that that was totally possible. However, now that I'm like thinking about this more, you could subscribe to digital product, right? But the digital product in Wix is always going to be the same thing. So do you really want to get the same thing every month? Like, yes, I want the same coffee every month. I want the same physical product every month. But do I want the same digital product every month? Say it was like a digital download of um, a 2023 calendar. Would I want that 
every single month? Would I want that every single year? It'd just be the same thing over and over again. So really, I think the best thing to do when it comes to digital products would be to set up some sort of pricing plan, which we're going to talk about in a future video, set up a pricing plan, which is like a membership. This is how I have my Wix collective inner circle set up. So for $30 a month, the people in the inner circle, the members get access to live zoom calls. They get access to um, the forum. So if you wanted to do a digital product, like um, send them some sort of like bundle of like cool printables or something every single month, then what you would do is you could set up an automation and as soon as someone buys that pricing plan, then you would start delivering those materials to them every single month. So that is an option. You wouldn't, you don't have to use an automation, but you could, or you could just use email marketing and send all of the members their digital products every month. So that's probably the way I would go about it. And that is probably why Wix doesn't allow digital products to be a part of a subscription. I hope that helps. Okay. So basically I just wanted to show you how to create a physical product subscription and where to manage your subscriptions here. Now, if we go into subscription settings, you can edit your grace period here. This is really important because it might not be active. And so as soon as someone's card fails and it's like, boom, you're out. So you might want to add that grace period just in case. Now, when it comes to your subscriptions, oops, Sorry, we're gonna go back to your subscribers. Once you get some subscribers in here, we, we can talk about this more in other videos, but you can click up here and pause people's subscriptions, delete their subscriptions, suspend them. Suspend basically means pause. So a person who is ordering from your site, they can go into their account and they can manage their settings there. They can, but they can either, they can only cancel, they can't suspend. So if you want to just like pause someone's subscription, make a note on your site, be like, hey, if you'd like to pause your subscription, please contact us today. Go in, pause the subscription and restart it whenever you're ready to restart it as the customer. So I hope that this helps give a good idea. We can dive more into this as we get into pricing plans and such. Please leave your specific comments below because this is not going to be the last time that we talk about subscriptions, but I will cover whatever questions you have in future videos. So yeah, let me know what you think. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.